This is Syria right now. A desperate fight is underway against IS forces that control so much of the country's north. You don't see them often, but these are YPG fighters, Syrian Kurds, and they're totally on their own, defending and attacking IS whenever they can. But it's basic stuff. Men and women fighting alongside each other. They're recycling ammunition links, hammering in live rounds. It's ridiculously dangerous, but they're using anything they can get their hands on to defend their homelands. Against the odds, they are having successes, though. These tanks have just been captured by the YPG from the IS militants as they push them west. We travel through Syria from Iraq. The birthplace of IS is one of the most dangerous places on Earth. And the YPG grip is tenuous, and the vast open spaces are difficult to protect from IS incursions. The Syrian Kurds are hemmed in. The Turkish border lies to the north, and its military consider the YPG terrorists. To the south, west and east, IS control all the lands into Iraq. We travelled to the YPG's newest front lines. A seemingly ragtag group met us. This cemetery on a hillock has become a fort. They watch across the plains and the villages that are still controlled by Islamic State. They're so close, they can hear them on their walkie-talkies. Their positions are regularly shelled from nearby. The hill there yeah. is ours. Uh -huh. This is our, their last point. Right. We got it all. Uh, they, they got these three positions. We got it all. So they pushed them back into those positions. Um, at first they were here. And uh, this was theirs, and, uh, but they've been bombing here today. Yes. Uh, Ronnie, you need to get up onto there, mate, and see those villages and let's get out. Just lean up onto the thing, mate, and take your head down. Well, this was uh, originally an IS uh, position that was taken back by the YPG. Now, it's been bombed a couple of times uh, since we've been here. What's interesting, you see, there is absolutely nobody here, and I think that's the way the YPG are playing it. They've got very limited resources, so they give the impression that this is an important point for them, but they haven't got anyone here, and IS are obviously feeling that this is an area that they need to try and take back. Uh, they could do, because there's no one here, but I think that is the tactic that the... YPG has to use to move its soldiers, move its resources around so that they can manoeuvre and attack IS from different positions. IS have many foreign fighters, but the YPG have a few. Brian Wilson is from Ohio, a veteran of the first Gulf War. He's come to help, shocked that the West isn't doing more. They've been holding out against in this area for, I think, the one has been going on for you know two, two and a half years. Uh, they're outgunned. Uh, they're brave fighters. They they just need more help. I mean, if they had you know better technology, better weapons, uh, they could finish Dash on their own. I mean, more airstrikes would be very helpful to help clear out some areas. The YPG have so many front lines. There's countryside and urban fighting. They're holding on and sometimes doing even better than that. But day and night, these battles rage as these Syrian Kurds take on Islamic State and will do to the death if necessary. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Northern Syria.